Our market monitor guest tonight predicts that the U.S. stock market could be up as much as 10 percent in the new year, but still, he says, quote, a lot could go wrong. He's Hugh Johnson, chairman of his own investment firm, Hugh Johnson Advisors. Nice to see you, Hugh. Nice to be with you, Susie. All right, a lot could go wrong. You're making me nervous. What's on the top of your worry list? <laughs> yeah, well, there are a lot of things there, but I think the number one thing is, is interest rates. If we start to see what the consensus currently expects, which is a rise in the yield on a 10-year Treasury well above 3 percent, somewhere around 320, 330, 340, then we might start to see the signs coming from the financial markets as well as the economy that the current cycle is over. But we'll have to wait until that occurs. But interest rates are probably at the top of my list. And at the second on, on my list has always got to be that something unexpected, an exogenous event will come along and that'll surprise us and also create a real decline in stock prices. Other than that, I think everything looks okay for now. All right. Well, and, and in that spirit, you say that there are a couple of stocks that you think are bull stocks that are good in a bull market. So let's go down your list. At the top of your list is Johnson Controls, JCI, trading on the New York Stock Exchange. It's gone from $30 to $50 yeah. this year. Um, still a good idea to put fresh money in this? Yeah, I think that's a you – know, the way you ask the question is a really well and well good way to ask the question. You know, there may be a correction along the way, so you might drag your feet, buy a little now, wait a little bit. In the case of Johnson Controls or any stock that I'm recommending, they're really all in the right sectors, and that means bull market sectors or economically sensitive sectors, the kinds of sectors that perform well in a bull market, not the ones that perform well in a bear market. And certainly consumer cyclicals and industrials, and Johnson Control has a little of each, is mm -hmm. going to be is is um, it really fits the bill. The other thing I would say is their business is getting better. In other words, they're starting to do business uh, to raise profit margins, going away from their traditional lines, and they do business in Europe, as your previous guest said. Right. And as I would say, Europe looks great for uh, 2014. Okay, good to hear from you as well. Let's go to your next stock, General Electric. Everybody knows this name has been followed. You, ha you have to be pretty patient with this stock, but it did have a pretty decent year. Why should investors buy it at $28? Well, it's got the same ingredients. It's, first of all, positive relative performance. You want to get stocks with positive relative performance. It's in an economically sensitive sector of the market, industrials. Uh, Jeff Immelt is doing a great job at shedding some of those businesses mm -hmm. or low margin businesses, moving into high margin businesses. It's global. It'll benefit mm -hmm. from a recovery in Europe. So I'd also include General Electric. And you have a tech stock that you like, Checkpoint Software. Tell us the story on this one. Positive relative performance, bull market sector, great company. It's in the uh, security business now. Target has focused a lot of attention on the business that they're in on sort of creating those firewalls to prevent some of the violations that we saw at Target. But it's a great balance sheet, good management, great balance sheet. It's got no debt. It's got lots of cash. It buys back. It can buy back lots of stock. This is a company that's well positioned for the future. And again, right sector and positive relative performance. All the things you need in a bull market. Okay, they all sound good. Any disclosures to make, you? Yeah, disclosures. All of my clients own them. And I own all three of them, and I cross my fingers, hope for the best. Remember what I said, we could have a little bit of a correction, so buy a little now, wait a little on the balance. All right, that's a good idea. Fair enough. Thank you so much. Hugh Johnson. You're welcome. Chairman of Hugh Johnson Advisors.